I'm on my way to downtown Houston for a 5K ruck march with uh, some of my friends. We do it every year in memory of 9-11. I do want you to come with me because I think you're going to be encouraged at the amount of support that's given this ruck march every single year. See, every year around this time you hear people say never forget. And while that's true and we want to honor the memory of those that we lost on that day and since then, the other thing we want to remember is just the sheer amount of resilience that Americans hold. And I'm not just talking about the military or our government, I mean us, the USA. And here's a good for instance, I've been talking to this organization over the past couple years called Building Homes for Heroes. This is led by civilians who just want to make a difference in the lives of veterans. See the thing about the US is we don't like relying on our government for anything. That's our entire history, citizens taking things into their own hands. I'm not even going to lie to you, my last ruck march was over a year ago. So even though this is a 5k, I know it's still going to be rough. But today, I am rucking to bring awareness to Building Homes for Heroes and what they're doing. So come along with me, let's strap up, let's go. I got my combat boots on with my jeans looking like an AIT boot at the PX on their weekend pass. Let's go. Hey, I got a confession. Been losing all momentum. I'm standing here with one of our participants, Mr. Trash Can. Uh, but in all seriousness, guys, one of the things I should have mentioned is while I haven't done a real ruck in over a year, I was here last year for the 5K. Uh, it's only three miles. It shouldn't be that bad. But uh, this is me before a ruck march. I will check in with you guys later. <laughs> okay, I just got done running what I think was the first mile. I forgot how much uh, running sucks when you have weight on your back. In case you haven't heard Cadence live. I'm not gonna lie, the Cadences are keeping me going. They're still behind me, just for proof of speed. But they're coming up. Somebody said, Fleming, you should have drank water before this started. I said, that's a weird way to say C4. Okay, they passed me. There's an old, like, 60 or 70 year old veteran doing the same thing I am. Running a little, rocking a little, and he just passed me, so I'm going to pick it up. So I finished the uh, race. Not the guide on. But that's the line I was supposed to cross, Space and I didn't like. I on. didn't cross it. So uh, we shall see. I don't even know if my time counted. They've got a clock at the oh end. It said 44 minutes as I passed, but I know I started at the back, so my time probably didn't start for a minute or two. So I'll be somewhere around 41, 42 minutes probably. Christina Chavez, Miguel Juarez. That's my staff sergeant. Bubba, get the keys. Oh, All right, I'm back with Mr. Trash Can, enjoying the fruits of my labor. So we looked at the timestamps. I still don't know if I was technically tracked, but we looked at the videos. It took me exactly 40 minutes for 3.1 miles, so that's a pretty good pace. Now, could I keep that up for 12 or 20 miles? I don't know. Uh, What, what else am I going to say? <laughs> Today is Saturday. I'm hoping to release this video tomorrow on Sunday, which means you have one day to make up in your mind if you are going to participate in this event. Tomorrow is 9-11, and I would encourage you to do your own run or ruck in memory of those that we've lost. Use the hashtag keep marching, and I'll make sure to add you to my story if I see it. And don't forget about building homes for heroes. They're doing great things. We're trying to get 11 homes completed and delivered by the end of this year. So if you can be a part of that, whatever platform you're on, there should be a link to a fundraiser. Participate in that if you can, and let's do some great things. I don't know how to sign this off. Let's go,